this is a painting I've just finished of Ennio Morricone and uh, it's a caricature done in oils and I'm painting onto Clairefontaine paint-on paper that's been gessoed and uh, it's taped onto a board and so with this one I'm, I'm sharing my palette with you at the same time uh, and I think it's uh, interesting to see how the um, sort of palette develops as, as the painting develops and um, and it, it, I think it's a nice idea to see them working side by side. So the colours I'm working with are ultramarine, a yellow ochre, uh, crimson alizarin or alizarin crimson if you like, um, titanium white, uh, burnt sienna and ivory black. And uh, probably the main colours I use are the um, ultramarine, uh, yellow ochre, and uh, and burnt sienna to get the get those warmer tones. Um, so I use a like a combination of, of those and the um, you know the ultramarine is um, kind of a replacement for the black. I, I use the black a little bit, but um, I, I find the ultramarine with the uh, burnt sienna really um, gets a, a nice um, a nice warm sort of yellowish yellowy green tone. Um, it's really nice for mid-tones. So, so I'm trying to limit the palette to uh, to these colors and not use black uh, or use black as little as possible so that the darker colors you see here are generally uh, using ultramarine with burnt sienna um, and uh, you know and, and that's as, as dark as as I want those colors to go so it, it's a very sort of browny greeny browny dark color but uh, the the ad advantage of that is that or, or the problem with using blacks should i say is that um uh, black colors and maybe burnt umber as well um it, it it has a tendency to sink in and uh and dulls out as, as it dries and uh, if you use uh, other colours other than, than black, then you're going to avoid that. So the, the colours that you see uh, on the left, or, or those the, the splodges that I create on the left, that's when I'm cleaning my brush. And uh, so I'm using some linseed oil just to get some excess paint off my brush so I can switch colours quickly. Um, and when I clean my palette, I use uh, baby wipes. And baby wipes are great at um, kind of wiping, wiping away that oil colour, and um, it's it's a really quick way of um, getting that colour off. And uh, but the, you've got to make sure that you wipe it down with a, a, a kitchen towel or like a paper towel after you've done that. Just to get rid of the residue of the uh, from the baby wipe, because um, you don't want that getting into your oil paint. So the reference I had for this was uh, pretty low resolution. Uh, it was slightly uh, pixelated as well, and um, you know sometimes you can search for higher resolution. Uh, images online um, you could even source from the or original photographer and, and get the you know the, the high resolution file but uh, you know I I was considering this uh, a, a sketch and an experiment painting onto the the Clairefontaine paper uh, from the start so you know I wasn't that bothered about sort of rendering this to the high degree and um, you know I, I really didn't want to spend a long time on this you know, there are um, various degrees of time that I spend on things. You know, that there are pieces that um, I can be doing for months. Um, you know, I, I think there are three general 
sort of time scales. There's the short and medium and, and the long term time scales. Uh, this was a pretty short, but you know, I, I did spend like three, two, three days on it maybe um, overall. But it's, I still consider it a, a sketch and uh, uh, an experiment. Um, you know, even though I'm, I'm really happy with the, the end result, you know, I um, and uh, and I really enjoyed the, the the process of it, and you know, I, I felt it went very smoothly. Um, and uh, I'm definitely going to be painting onto this paper again. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed that experience. Um, but uh, you know, in terms of like doing something that's highly rendered, it's not um, the most rendered piece I'll ever do. But you know, I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. So you know, really just a quick video just to um, show you my palette, and um, and I had fun painting it, and I hope you enjoyed it too.